A Transylvania County veteran is now sharing his home with two dogs he first adopted as puppies while serving in Afghanistan. Two thirteen's Kimberly King is live in Brevard tonight. How did these dogs get to the states, Kim? Larry, it's a complicated process and an expensive one, but several charities across the country make it happen for soldiers like former First Lieutenant Sam Wellborn. I was in eastern Afghanistan, and I was a part of a military police battalion. Former intelligence officer Sam Wellborn was partnered with the Afghan police. Serving his country, there was a combat outpost. One day, uh, we saw these little puppies running around in the corner of one of their parking lots. Sam bonded with the pups. For a while there, we gave the mom some food because she was still nursing. All five saved and flown to the U.S. thanks to the Puppy Rescue Mission charity. It takes about $4,500 to send one dog uh, from Afghanistan back to the United States. Sam in Brevard adopting two, Hank and Spirit, with one ear down and one up on walks when people learn Spirit and Hank are from Afghanistan. Generally, if you meet too many people, the walks take a long time. $4,500 might sound like a lot of money, and the fact is, it is. But Sam says these donors know they've not only helped these dogs, but also helped him. You know, it wasn't necessarily the greatest experience being over in Afghanistan, and so it's really nice to have, you know, something like these dogs to remember that time. It seems like it's a way to to help our soldiers transition back into life when they come back stateside. It's why Sarah Lutz has organized the first ever Pause for Celebration art auction to help Nowzad, another charity with the same mission as the one that helped Sam bring his buddies home. You can't separate them. I mean, it's even if you leave one inside to take the other one to put in the car, he starts like whining and crying. Okay, what dog lover wouldn't love that story? Now, we do want to mention all five of the puppies that were in Afghanistan. They had money raised to bring them all home, and all were adopted. Here's the information for the upcoming fundraiser this weekend here in Brevard. Here it is. It's the Pause for Celebration fundraiser at Sunday at 6 p.m. at Jamie's on Main Street. A $20 donation gets you in the door, and the art auction starts at 7 p.m., and you can get more information on our website on several of these charities. Reporting live in downtown Brevard, Kimberly King, News 13.